What I need is to just be alone with you. Please, just me and you. You know, I was thinking the same thing in church. In church? Mm -hmm. Talk about impure thoughts. Now, my mother's going to be busy all day. So we could have the suite to ourselves. And if we're lucky, it'll take Bo all night to make up to her for not taking her side today. Are you sure you feel okay about spending the night with me? I mean, with this whole mess going on? Are you asking me if I'm ashamed to be with you? I am proud of you. And as for being alone with you, Why do you think I'm trying to convince my mother to move in with Bo on a permanent basis so that we can be alone together? You are a girl after my own heart. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm after, Mr. Buchanan. Our own place away from the ugliness of accusations. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> It makes me wish that we could just spend every night together. Maybe we could. Maybe we should. <laughs> I think my lawyer would be strongly opposed to that idea. And I think your lawyer could be convinced otherwise by her daughter. Well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mom! Hi, you're home. Gee, is that why everything looks so familiar? You, you're surprised. Well, I can't explain. Never mind, <clears throat> Rachel. I don't have time to be the shocked parent now. I will later. Right now, I'm more in the lawyer worried mode. How's your uh, father, Kevin? Oh, uh, he's going to be okay. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's one less thing for you to have to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Have you seen the edition of the banner this morning? No, not yet. Well, maybe you'd like to have a look. stands divided. On one side, those who believe the four young men. On the other, those who believe the woman who accuses them of rape. Great! It's nice to know I've got 50% of the vote. Well, it's all right. I've read worse than some of the other rags around town. Well, why did you come in so upset about this one? Because this one is on the cover of a respectable paper like The Banner. Gives the whole story legitimacy and could possibly sway the opinions of potential jurors. How so? Oh, this story heavily stresses the fact that you all come from upper middle class and wealthy families. So? So it's very easy to sway opinions against which kids, you know? It's the classic have versus the have-nots. Marty has plenty of money. I didn't see that in the article. Oh, yeah. uh, what am I saying? They didn't even say who she was. That's right. Well, I'm not saying that it's fair. Every paper is dragging Kevin's name through the mud. But Marty is hiding behind this cloak of anonymity. Rachel, there are very good reasons why alleged rape victims do not have their names printed in papers. And I agree with every one of them if she's telling the truth, but Marty is not. All right, I understand where you're coming from here, sweetheart, all right? But this is not about what is fair. This is about getting the jury to find Kevin and the others not guilty. Uh, how are we going to do that? By getting our side of the story out as fast as we possibly can. If that jury walks in there with their minds already made up, we're dead in the water. We've got to do something, anything we possibly can, as fast as we possibly can. I will do whatever it takes. No, you will do whatever I say it takes. Right. Good. Right. And I'm going to start with checking up on Joey and Jessica. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Call me? I will. Bye. So, I assume Kevin spent the night. Yeah. Don't look at me. This isn't about me. This is about you. Is this going to be a habit? Well, I hope so. 
Which is why you and I need to have a little talk. Oh, about what? About our living situation. It can't go on like this anymore. If there's one thing that this ugly charge against Kevin has taught me, it's that it's time for me to live on my own. I don't see what one has to do with the other. Look, Mom, I just need my own space, a space that belongs only to me. Somewhere where Kevin and I can get away from all the horrible stuff that's going on, the way that we can lock the world outside. I mean, he is under a lot of pressure. Sounds like you want this place more for Kevin than for yourself. Not at all. But it's time. We've just been ignoring it. That's all. I see. I'm not sorry that we've been living together. We've gotten so close this past year, and it's just time. Vanessa, I hate that phrase. Hey, you don't have to end up alone. What about you and Bo? Have you guys talked about your future? Oh, yeah, we have. And? <sighs> oh, he asked me to move in with him. What? That's great, that's great. You think so? It's perfect. I'm not so sure. Why not? And you can't use me as an excuse. Well, it's too late. I already did. <laughs> oh, we just... It's that and, and... We haven't been dating that long, you know. Long enough for you to know how you feel about him. If Kevin is found guilty, Bo could blame me, and then everything that we've worked for just goes right down the drain. Mom. No, no, no. The timing is just not right, and I already told him that in a, in, in a note. Listen to me. You cannot connect your life with Bo to what happens with Kevin. You're going to do your best. I know that, and Bo knows that. But if a jury does find Kevin guilty, I'm not going to blame you. And neither is Bo if he really loves you. I guess you're right. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it... No, no, no buts. Aren't you the one that has always told me to take charge of my life? Well, and yes. And do what's best for me? Well, well I that's... think it's time. I think it's time that you took a little of your own advice. Mm -hmm. 